A few days ago, I published a tutorial on how to generate funny videos automatically. Many of you asked if I could create the same automation, but this time using N8N instead of make.com. So here it is. Today I'm releasing the N8N version of the automation. You'll find the full workflow inside my school community, Automation Tribe. Just check the description for the link. After you download it from the community, go to N8N, create a new workflow, and import the file. Now let me show you how it works. First, you'll need to go to OpenAI and copy the prompt I provided. This prompt gives you both the image description and the animation script for the video. I recommend pausing the video for a moment to copy the prompt, or feel free to tweak it and write your own if you prefer. Inside Airtable, I'll create a new row and copy both the image prompt and animation prompt directly from ChatGPT. Just a heads up. For this automation, you'll need to add the music manually. In my case, I'm reusing the same sound from the previous video and copying it into this new row. I'm not going to explain how the Airtable base was built. You can check that in my earlier video. But for reference, here are the columns you'll find inside. Image prompt, animation prompt, status, merge video and audio, image video, music, final video. And the last one is published on social. These are the fields you'll need to recreate the workflow on your side. Now, under the status column, you'll see values like to do. This means that any row with that status will be picked up and processed by the automation. In the merge video and audio column, the default option is set to use the Automation Tribe API. But if you prefer, you can switch it to use JSON2 video, especially if you already have credits there. I actually recommend watching the other video on my channel that explains how this API works. You can download it and run it on your own server to save money over time. If you decide to switch to JSON2 video, just update that column in Airtable, and the automation will route the processing through their API instead. But make sure that in N8N, you connect the two correct nodes depending on which API you want to use. Now I'm going to run the automation. It usually takes a few minutes to generate the video, so while that happens, let me walk you through how everything works behind the scenes. The first node is an Airtable node. Here, you need to select the correct base and table, the one where your prompts are stored. In the Filter Formula field, Enter the formula you see on screen. This tells an 8N to only pick the rows where the status is to do. That's how we control which videos get processed. Next, we have an HTTP request node. Set the method to POST and use the URL shown on screen. Make sure to add your authorization header with your API key. In the JSON body, paste the exact code you see on the screen. That's what sends the image and animation prompt to the image generation API. After that, we add a wait node. I've set it to wait 30 seconds. In most cases, the image is ready in about 12 seconds, but I prefer to wait a bit longer just to be safe and avoid errors. Now that the image has had time to generate, we use another HTTP request node, this time with the get method, to fetch the generated image. You'll need to use the second URL shown on screen. And don't forget to include your authorization header again. Once the image is fetched, we go back to Airtable with an update record node. Use the same base and table as before, and make sure to include the record ID from the first Airtable node. In the image field, insert the URL you got from the previous HTTP response. You can use the exact code snippet shown on screen to update it correctly. At this point, we have the image ready, now it's time to move on to the second phase, where we generate the actual video. To generate the video, we'll add another HTTP request node. This one uses a different URL, but the method stays POST, just like before. You'll also use the same API key for authorization. The main difference in this step is the JSON body. Now you'll need to provide both the animation prompt and the image URL, which are pulled directly from Airtable. That's what connects the visual with the story. Quick note, this video is based on the animals farting theme, but you can easily change the image prompt and animation prompt in Airtable to create completely different scenes. 
the automation is flexible. Next, we add a wait node, this time for five minutes. That's because generating a video using the Kling API usually takes around three minutes, and we want to give it enough time to complete safely. Then, we add another HTTP request node to download the final video. The setup is very similar to the image step. It's a get request to the URL you receive from Kling with the same authorization headers. After that, we update Airtable again using a third Airtable node, just like before. This time, we upload the generated video into your base under the final video field. Now comes the switch node. This node checks which route to take next. If the merge video and audio field in Airtable is set to use my Automation Tribe API, it follows the top path. But if you choose JSON to video, it switches to the bottom path instead. So you can control which tool you want to use directly from Airtable. Next, we move to the final step, posting the video to social media using the Blotato API. I won't go into full detail here because I already have a dedicated video on the channel showing how Blotato works. You can follow that tutorial to set everything up. But just so you know what to do in this automation, in the set ID node, you'll need to paste your Blotato API key. To find it, go to your Blotato dashboard, click Settings, then scroll down to the API Access section. Copy your API key and paste it here. You'll also need your social media account ID. After you connect your accounts in Blotato, copy the account ID and paste it in the same node. After that, there's a Search Records node from Airtable. This pulls in all the related information before we post. Then we have another HTTP request node. This one uploads your video to Blotato's server. From here, you can post to any social network you've connected. As you can see in my automation, I've deactivated most of the posting nodes. If you want to use them, just right-click and choose Activate. For this demo, I'm only showing the Instagram node, just to prove that the video gets published. Here's how that one works. You need to fetch your Instagram account ID and in the media URL field, use the link from Blotato that points to your final video. You can also add a caption. This automation doesn't generate text, but you can easily add a ChatGPT node before this to create a short description automatically. And now, let me show you the final result. 